What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday morning. Shit, probably like Thursday or Friday by the time you see this. But I'm doing an unboxing for a very unique um, fishing rod I saw on the old Amazon. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, Amazon. It's a huge retailer online. Uh, anyways, I pulled the trigger on it. I'm, I'm starting to get back into fishing a little bit. Uh, saltwater fishing, mostly surf fishing. And I came across this rod. It seems too good to be true. So that's why I'm doing an unboxing. I'm going to review this whole video. You'll see me use it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do a, a little unboxing to see how it looks. So I'm, I'm kind of curious myself. I opened the box, but I'm, I have not opened up the actual package yet. So let's get this thing out and look at all the components and see what we're dealing with. And yes, this is legit. It's the fishing rod in here. So just bear with me. I'm a little concerned too with myself. So here's the, the brand. Um, this was roughly $60, I think. Quality is not bad so far of the, of the case. <laughs> Alright, so we got some, some lures, you know, the rod, the reel, um, oh, we got line too, that's pretty cool. It smells really weird. Oh, I don't know what that is. It smells like formaldehyde. It's packaged really, really nicely. This feels kind of cheap, but we'll see. This is a lot smaller than I thought. Just kidding, the telescopes. Oh, it's pretty fucking rad though. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit, this thing's pretty long. Damn, that's pretty cool. Alright, that's pretty, that's pretty gnarly. I think this is seven foot. I'm six. Oh, it is. Yeah, eight foot maybe. Whoa, that's really cool. How they do that? All right, so far I'm impressed. That's that's pretty pretty cool. All right, this thing collapses. A couple of these. Get the real one. And I'm kind of a. I'm not an expert fisherman at all. I'm not going to pretend like I am. I do enjoy it. This actually feels really nice. And I'm not sponsored by anyone doing this. It's just for me, just, just fucking around. It feels really nice and it's super light. Read the instructions before I started doing this, so I can with me. I have put a rod together before, but it seems to be strange. Okay, okay. What, Turbo? You want to help me do my unboxing? I can't. She's pretty cool. Come up here. Come here. Come here. 
Come on, you're never, you're never shy. Come here. Come here, turkey. Come on. Well, she might. But I'm not really a cat person. I kind of found her like 10 years ago, a little kitten. And I was trying to get rid of her, but she actually ended up being pretty cool as I stepped her. All right. So this feels really nice, believe it or not. Good bearings in there, it's got a good feel to it in the hand. Super, it's very light, um, but it, it feels high quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this situation. Um, now, I do surf fish with a, uh, a sand spike, so we'll see if it's got any bend to it. So, yes, yeah, so what you get in this little kit, and everything goes in this little kit, so nice and packaged and so easy to carry around, which is great. Especially my Corvette, this is amazing. Um, we got some, looks like mostly freshwater lures, but it's also made for saltwater as well. See that. Um, braided line, super combat. I've never heard of this brand. It's, it's the same brand as a rod. Feels nice, feels nice enough. Oh, hi, Turbo. Hey, we're doing a video. Come on, go on, go on, Turkey. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, lined up, and I, I gotta get some uh, some tackle too. I need some tackle, better tackle in the video. So I'm so I'm gonna do it last time. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run to the store, get some tackle, and um, meet my friend. Actually, we're gonna do some fishing, and that's coming up after this. I got this little rig all set up here. I think I used way too much line, but it'll fix itself once I cast, maybe, I don't know. Um, the line feels pretty good. Again, I'm not an expert fisherman, but it feels all right. So yeah, now I'm just waiting for my uh, my friend Jacob to get here, and we'll go, uh, go fishing over there. The old Virginia Beach. We're at uh, Chick's Beach, and it's a Lesnar Bridge right there. In case you're wondering where we are. That's where we are. All right, so here we go. You can see it. I guess that's good. All right, first cast in, in this interesting rig. Basic, basic bottom rig here. Um, that's Jacob. Say hi, Jacob. He's he's really camera shy. So did I cross your line, dude? All right. So that was, it felt kind of awkward that cast. You can definitely feel that it's, it's not quite as, I don't know what's the word. It's not bad, but it's different than a, a conventional rod, if you will. Getting some hits up there. I'm not sure if you can see it. I felt like I had something. Oh, I guess not. All right, so I don't have anything, but it feels really nice. I'm really not trying to sell this thing like I'm a spokesman or something, but it, I'm I'm so far pretty happy with it. Also, I have no idea if you can see, but way off in the distance, that's the famous Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. It's a 26 mile bridge and tunnel. It's pretty gnarly. It costs like 30 bucks to go across it. But 
There it is. All this beach and the kids think it's a good idea to play right there. Just show me how it works though. Waiting for these guys. Fighting that current. They're getting there. Any luck? Nothing? All right, so second cast. First was a fail. Not the, the rod's fault, just my setup sucks. I hope you can see that. This thing actually feels really good. That was pretty effortless to cast that. This rig or this uh, this reel is awfully smooth. All right, here we go. Cast number three. All right, so we're gonna pack it in. We didn't catch diddly shit. Uh, I got some sun though, which is cool. Let my my buddy Jacob cast it. He, he liked it. He doesn't want to talk about it, but. Do you want to say anything about this? It's not bad. Okay. I don't, I don't dislike it at all. All right, what would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? 10 being the best. Uh, overall. For an overall rod. Yeah. I'll give you my score after. Six, seven. Okay, I was thinking of six, 7.3. 7.3, for what it is, for the price point. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope this was helpful to anyone trying to buy one of these Amazon specials. So, and definitely in the near future, I'll take it out again, and hopefully we can actually catch something. There you go. Oh, we got, we got, we got a seaweed fish? Oh, we got some bait. All right, so the very last uh, reeling in, we caught a pregnant crab. It's a Virginia blue, or Maryland blue crab. So that's cool. We're gonna let him go live his life. Hey man, you want some bait? Squid. No? You want it? It's free, I mean, you can give it to birds if you want. 